Let's place some of the more commonly used circuit components. If the virtual components toolbar is not already visible, right click up here and select virtual. Most of what we need is located up here. I'll begin by placing a resistor. You can change the value of the resistor by double clicking it and typing in the new value here. You can also change the name of the resistor by double clicking this and picking label and simply typing in the new label here. I'll call this one R sub B. If you click right there you can pull out a sub palette of these components and simply click those directly. I'll place a variable resistor also known as a potentiometer. Pressing the A key it in, uh, will cause the value to increase. Pressing Shift A causes it to decrease. And you can also manipulate the slider. Here's an inductor, and here's a capacitor. All right, now let's place some sources in the circuit. I'll begin with the DC power source or DC voltage source. Here's the ground symbol and every circuit needs a ground. This defines zero voltage. And here's the current source. Lastly, I'll show you how you can find a component when you know its formal name. So select a component or type control W, select all groups and all families, and up here simply start typing the name of what you're looking for. In this case I'm looking for the single pole single throw switch. And this is an interactive device so you can press the spacebar to make the switch open and close.